Hey, kids. Oh, hi, Mom. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. good. Are you ready? Really good. That's great, Me kids. Me too. That's great. Well, it's breakfast again. We have waffles today. That sounds great, hon. Does everybody, does everybody want it, hon? Okay. Here are the waffles. I'm going to go get the maple syrup. Okay. Here's the maple syrup for your waffles. Oh, these waffles are delicious. Yeah. So, does anyone have anything interesting today? Well, yes, but, you, but these waffles are great. And can we go for a trip, Mom? A trip? What do you mean? Let's go. Can we go for a trip? Where would you like to go? To Germany? No, to the Grand something. The Grand Cayman Islands? No. The MGM Grand? No. The Grand Canyon? Yes, yes. The Grand Canyon? I've never been to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I have. Have you, Papa? I have, and it's very safe. I've been there th like 10 times. Wow. Great. Well, do you, the rest of you kids want to go to the Grand Canyon? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. Can you fit it into your schedule? Sorry, I can't. I I can't. I can't go. I ha, I'm at work. Oh, it sucks being a doctor, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes it really sucks. Oh well. We'll pick you up a souvenir. How's that? Great. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta pick a date, and then we'll start packing. How does that sound, kids? Good. Yeah. I want to take my stuffed animals. <laughs> okay, well, after breakfast, we'll start packing. All right, guys. So now it's time to get packing. Okay. Let's each have a part of Rumble, two Rumble, one room, and split up. Yeah, I got to pack in my room. What about you, Buttercream? Yeah, I've got a pack. Woohoo! This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, but I'm cleaning. I'm gonna pack in my room. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya, Scout. See ya. I'm gonna pack in my room too. Okay. Me too. Well, we're packing right here. Okay, I'm gonna pack in my room. Roof, 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 roof. Actually, I'm gonna pack here. Oh, there. That should do it. I got everything that I need. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm ready. I can't wait to go. Me Woo too. Grand Canyon, here we come. Yeah. I'm so excited about this. I'm so glad Mom decided to take us on a trip. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Kids, what do you think you're doing? We're packing for the trip. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you can't take all of this. But I need my clothes. And my toys, and my stuffies, <laughs> and my DVDs, and my iPad, and my watercolors, and my arts and crafts, and my colored pencils, and I need my shoes, an umbrella if it rains, and, well, and some other stuff, just in case. Butter cream, we need to lower something down. I know that you can lower something down. You don't need that umbrella because it won't rain in the Grand Canyon. So, I just need to get rid of the umbrella and I can keep everything else? Um, and one disc. Actually, two discs. Okay. Okay. But if it rains, you need to carry me. <laughs> okay. Promise. You guys all heard that, right? Yeah, we heard that. It's not going to rain in the Grand Canyon. It never rains in the Grand Canyon. I, when I was, when, when, when my brother was there, he told me it never rained. Not when he was there, so I'm pretty sure there, it's pretty clear. What brother's that? Oh, you know, Jack. No, I don't know any brother called Jack. He's not one of our brothers or sisters. I'm, oh, I'm my cousin. Oh, 
Oh, Jack the cousin? Oh, yeah. You mean that cute uh, human human cousin that we have? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I hear he's uh, I hear he's gonna be a chef someday. I always love when he cooks for me. He's so good at cooking. Uh huh. And you're his official cooking. You're you're his. I mean, you're his official cooking buddy. Cause your name is Buttercream. Watch it, Scout. Don't bang your head into the floor. That might hurt. I won't. <laughs> Rumble too. <laughs> All right. Well, we're here at the airport now. Yeah. Thanks, Mom, for taking on this amazing trip. No, no worries. No worries. Now, we got to be careful crossing the road, kids. This is a busy airport, so should we, we should all stick together. Okay, Mom. Okay. Here's Mom. some cars now. Wow, look at how fast they're going. <laughs> Easy there, Rocky. Stay back from the cars. Yeah. Watch it, Scout. This is the airport's dangerous, kids. Maybe we shouldn't go on very many more family vacations. Can we go to a different airport? Like, we're just at port. We can go to WestJet or Air Canada. Sure. Well, let's go check in our bags. Where are our bags, Mom? We're carrying them, silly. Oh, yeah, you silly me. <laughs> I just bought, brought a backpack, so I don't really feel anything. That's good. In our family, we have one rule. If you pack it, you carry it. Yes. And that goes for young people and old people too. Hey, but you said that before. You don't need to tell us again. Yeah, I'm, we're not trying to be mean, but you know, you told us at, at, like again. Oh my, if I only had to tell you kids one thing and one thing one time and you did it, oh, that would be fantastic. But unfortunately, sometimes children need to hear things over and over again. So that's why I had to tell you over and over again. If you don't know what I mean, ask your cousin Jack. I'm sure he does. <laughs> okay, Mom. All right, kids. Let's go check in. It's just around this corner. Canyon, Mom. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, thanks for taking us here. We're having such a great time. Look at the views. Yeah. It's fantastic. Have you ever seen anything like this before, kids? No. Hey, look, there's a sign. Horseback riding this way and go karts that way. Okay, does any raise your hand if you want to go to the go karts? Me! Well, let's go horseback riding. I want to go horseback riding. Actually, I want to go horseback riding too. All right, well, stay here, kids. I'll go to the go kart. Who wants to come go karting with me? Me, me. The rest stay here and wait for me. I'll go go karting too. All right, you kids don't get into any trouble now. You hear? Okay. Board waiting. Do you want to just go on I, it right now? I'd love to go horseback riding. I've never been. I've always wanted to go horseback riding. I know. Why don't I think we horses just go are just now? amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, why don't we just go right now? I can't contain myself. I know. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and hey. here we are at the go kart track. Yeah. Hey, Mom, this is so much fun, except that we have to wait in line. 
Oh, just wait till you get on. It'll be so much fun. Turns. Well, we had a spin out on the Motorama Speedway today. You are off the track, number white. Look at them horseback riding. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! This is so much fun. But but we should have told our mom that we were going first. I know, but it was just too exciting to wait for the go karts. I just want to ride. Whoa! It's pretty hot out here. Are you thirsty? Yeah. It's they're gonna just keep going this way to horses, and they know their way back. So I guess. It, they would just come around that way, so why don't we just turn back and jump off? Okay. But this doesn't look like the right way. It doesn't? No, I think we're lost. What? Well, let's just try going that way, because I'm pretty sure that's where it's lower. At least it's lower. So the sun won't reach as high there. So let's just go down there. Okay, let's jump off the horses. Ah! Whoa! Boy, that was fun go-karting. Yeah. You kids sure drive fast. Yeah. I didn't know you kids could drive go-karts that fast. Well, it must be because you're getting older. Well, yeah. I'm a really good, I'm a really good scout. Yeah. Well, that's why the twins couldn't go on because they were too young for the go-karts. Yeah. But, and they didn't want to anyway, Mom. Wait, where are the twins? Wait, where are they? Isn't this where we left them? Here's yes. the sign. Horseback riding, go-karts. Go hmm, we went to the go-karts and they stayed here. Did you guys notice anything? Well, they said they really wanted to go horseback riding. Yeah, maybe they just left. They I know Rumble with... loves horseback riding. Rumble. Well, you don't think they would have... They would have gone by themselves without their mommy or their family, do you? They might have. They were really excited. Well, that sounds a bit impulsive. Yeah, let's... Go, mommy, go to the town Where are now. they? Now I'm worried. Let's give a call to the Arizona State Police. Yeah, here, here, here. I found a phone. Hello? Hello? State Police. Hello? Hello? Police. Police, my two kids are missing and I don't know where they are. Come quick, we're at the Grand Canyon between horseback riding and go-karts. Arizona State Police, we're on our way.
Arizona State Police here. Captain Barnacles. And Ma'am, did you call the police? Ma'am. Yes, I did. Ma'am, did you call the police? Yes, my two kids are missing. Please help me find them. Where did they go? What can you tell us about this? Um, Oh no. What do you think, Captain Raccoon? Hmm. Think I... they went horseback riding? Yes. That's dangerous country over, over there. That's no country for old men. You mean young men? I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> I've had a little trouble with some of my adjectives after uh, leaving the Octonauts when they retired me. Ah. Uh -huh. So, what should we do, Raccoon? Captain maybe, Raccoon. Maybe we should ask some more details and then start looking. All right, lady. What's your name? Lulu. What's your color? What do you mean color? What color are you? Uh, can't you see? Like a bit brown beige? What's your breed? Breed? Yeah, what breed of dog are you? I'm a Springer Spaniel. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't <laughs> rocket science, lady. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Okay, I'm We have to find these kids fast. It's hot out there, and if they don't have water, they could die. Okay. So, what are the kids' names? Blossom and Rumble 2. Okay. How old are they? Um, five and five. All right. The rest are older. Yeah, well, those ones aren't lost, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what? How did they get lost? Did well, you just leave them here? You didn't leave your kids here by themselves, did you? Lulu? <laughs> Parents these days. <laughs> I know there's a saying it takes a village to raise a family, but seriously, what are you even thinking here? <laughs> I told them to stay here. I thought they would. All right. Never fear. We'll find them. Captain Raccoon, let's go. You stay here. We'll get your, your children back. Let's go. Hey, Rumble, Rumble 2, don't you miss the fa our family? I can't believe we're still lost out here. I know. I'm maybe, so thirsty. Yeah, if but, only we had water. Yeah, well, but maybe I have a big microphone and I can sing and maybe loudly and maybe they'll find us. I hope so. I'm so hot. Okay. I miss my family. I would want my family. I just want my family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to come back. I want them to be here. I want them to be with all my adventures. They may be just over this hill, Captain Raccoon. Yes, they might just might be. Oh, that looks like a great photograph of me on the wall there. You're right, it does. Almost looks like me. Hey, is that them? Hey, you. Yes. Are you Blossom and Rocky? Rocky? Yes. Blossom? Yes. Are you missing from your mother? Yes. Yes. We found him, Captain Raccoon. Let's get him. Whoa, you guys are dehydrated. Let's get you back to safety. Get you back to your mother. Whew, that was a close call. Why did you kids run off like that? Huh? <laughs> Huh? Blossom. This guy tells that. Rocky. <laughs> we just wanted to go horseback riding. We didn't mean to cause any problems. Well, this is Arizona, and this is the Grand Canyon, and you don't want to get lost in the Grand Canyon, that's for sure. It's hot out here. Yeah. Hot like an oven. Yeah. In fact, it's hotter than the oven I used to have when I was in on the uh, the Octonaut ship making kelp cakes. So even hotter than that oven can go because, well, at times we were, well, 40 leagues beneath the sea. So it's kind of hard to have a hot oven. Well, anyhow, that's just, that's not important. Let's hey, get you back. To, guys! Let's get you back to your mom. Guys! <laughs> Captain Barnacles, why do you have to chat about your crew when you're, when you're police officer? I'm you're a police a officer police now. Officer. Let's see the reunion. Yay! We're 
home. They're home. Oh, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, let's spend another night. Let's go to our hotel. Yeah. Let's order Chinese food. Yeah. And the moral yeah. of the story is yeah. never go wandering out in the hot Arizona desert Grand Canyon without enough water and without your parents. Actually, you should never go wandering off anywhere. Uh, that's right, Captain, Captain Raccoon. <laughs> All right. Well, everything's safe and sound now. We'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.